the Star Spangled Banner almost 200 years ago, he called America the land of the free and the home of the brave. Those words are as true today as they were then. Through our nation's history, America's soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, and coast guardsmen have bravely answered the call to defend our country, to aid our friends and allies, and to turn back aggressors. We can never fully repay our debt of gratitude to the more than 160,000 American service members who died in battle or the 1.4 million who were wounded. We can, however, recognize and thank the 25 million veterans still living today. These words are inscribed on the Korean Memorial in Washington, D.C. Our nation honors that her sons and daughters will answer the call to defend the country they never knew and the people they never knew. Those words apply equally to our World War I, World War II, Vietnam, Korean, Gulf War, and Iraq veterans as well. They apply to today's active duty service members and tomorrow's veterans who are trying to maintain peace throughout the world. Today is our privilege to say thank you to all of American veterans, to let them know we appreciate them for their service and honor them for their sacrifices. The price of freedom is high. We cannot afford to forget those willing to pay. Today we celebrate America's veterans for keeping this nation the land of the free and the home of the brave. Sunset Gate shall stand the mighty woman with the torch, whose flame is imprisoned in lightning, and her name, Mother of Exiles. From her beacon hand glows more and more welcome. Her mild eyes command the air bridge harbor that twin cities bring. Keep ancient lands, restore prompt, cross she with silent lips. Give me your tired, your poor, your hungry masses yearning to breathe free. The wretched refuse of your teeming shore send these the homeless, tempest tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the gloom door.
creativity. Freedom means I'm safe, able to gain education, and free to pursue my dream. I'm thankful to be an American because I can grow up to be whatever I want. I'm thankful to be an American because I have freedom and I get to go to school because of my veterans and their serve. Just my family and my friends. I'd take my lucky stars to be living here today. Cause the flag still stands for freedom and we can't take that away.
apt to render emotion in the call tab. The melody is both eloquent and haunting, while the history of its origin is interesting and somewhat clouded in controversy. In the British Army, a slumber to the signal called Last Post and have been counted over the soldiers' graves since 1885, but the use of taps is unique to the United States military since the call is sounded at funerals, replaying ceremonies, and memorial services. The beautiful call that beckons us to remember patriots who served our country with honor and valor. It is the most familiar call in one that moves on the year. Please join us in a moment of silence following the plan of tax to honor those who have given so much for our freedom. because they are our heroes. I am thankful for the veterans because they blessed America and gave their lives. I am thankful for veterans because without them we wouldn't be the same. Imagine that we didn't have veterans, our lives might be controlled by someone else. We love our freedom and our veterans. I am thankful for our veterans because they made our country free and they chose to help us be free even though some of them died. Thank you, veterans. And at this time, we'd like to recognize those of you in the audience here with us who are veterans. So if you would please stand us and up, stand up, just our veterans, just our veterans, so that we can recognize them and take a moment to say thank you.
grateful for the Americans who served our country and never gave up. Great Britain, France, and other countries celebrate November 11th as our Mistress Day to commemorate the ending of World War I, November 11th, 1918. Fighting ceased on the 11th hour, the 11th day of the 11th month. Canada celebrates Remembrance Day on the same day. If we have no peace, it's because we forgot we belong to each other. Other trees. It is not enough to say we must not wage war. It is necessary to love peace and sacrifice for it. Martin Luther King Jr. Blessed are the peacemakers, Matthew 5, 9. A conqueror is a lover of peace, General Carl Van Clausewitz. Peace is more than just the absence of war. Peace is justice, and true peace is freedom. And true peace dictates the recognition of human rights for all women. Peace is our gift to each other. Eliza. Peace is always beautiful. Albert Einstein. <laughs>